Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion um, Solar Star Seeker uh, tracking AZ mount. It does one thing and does one thing very well. It automatically finds and tracks the sun. If you're using a small telescope with a uh, white light filter on it, or perhaps a little uh, hydrogen alpha telescope, the hardest thing to do during the day is actually find and track the sun. You think it's easy because it's right there, but you can't use the finder scope uh, because you don't want to melt your eyeballs. You can't. Uh, polar line and equatorial mount most of the time because you can't see Polaris. So to get an, an EQ mount to track is, is fairly difficult. Well, enter this mount, the solar tracking mount. It uh, has built-in GPS and a little uh, camera here. You attach your telescope on the side using a standard Vixen rail and you turn it on. And that's all you got to do. It acquires the GPS signal. It figures out exactly where in the sky the sun will be. It goes up and then uses the camera to fine tune it and get it centered in the, uh, in the image. And then from there on, it just tracks it all day long uh, through the sky. So it's the, the easiest way I've ever found to, to find and track the sun during the day. And we'll show you a little demonstration of it outside here in a minute. Uh, let's talk about some of the features of the, uh, of the mount itself. Uh, first thing is on the side, like I said, the Vixen attachment point. It's a Vixen style cradle, so any telescope that uses the Vixen cradle. And uh, when I say any telescope, it's got to be fairly small. This is a, a lightweight portable unit, but it won't hold really heavy big telescopes. It's designed for something like a short tube 80 with a solar filter on it, maybe the Coronado PST up to maybe the, the Coronado uh, 60 millimeters. So about six or seven pound weight capacity, uh, and any telescope that's in that, that size range will work. Uh, the camera here in the middle, that's what uh, finds and uh, auto uh, 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 refines the positioning to, to follow. And then it, it's on this little stock here. So in case you do have a slightly longer telescope, you're not going to run into a problem of the focuser bumping into the side of the tripod legs. It, it holds it up with enough clearance um, to, uh, uh, to clear. Uh, on the tripod itself, it's aluminum legs, and there's a tray on the bottom here, so all of your accessories, the other eyepieces, uh, can stay there. And like I said, it's nice and portable, sm uh, small and compact. The legs fold up, so it's easy to transport with you when you go to that next eclipse trip. Uh, there's one coming up in 2024, um, a total solar eclipse in, uh, in the Midwest. Uh, or just any day you wanted to take this out uh, to view the sun. This, is, this works great for big star parties, big solar star parties, or when you're at a school event, you're showing all the kids and the teachers the sun. It's a great automatic way to track and find the sun. The controls couldn't be simpler. Uh, first of all, it's on the back side, but there's a, a, a port for eight AA batteries. Um, this is how it's, it runs, eight AA batteries, 12 volt. And on the front side here is the control panel. There's the power, you just turn it on and you let it do its thing. Once it's acquired the sun, you have this centering knob here, which is a little push joystick to, to center the sun. It won't be perfectly dead center because you're attaching a scope with a dovetail rail. The dovetail bar on the side of your scope may not be exactly lined up. So it'll get it in the vicinity, and then you use this to just center it up in the sun, or center it up in the field of view, and then when you let go, it just stays on target. So one thing you want to be very careful about is uh, the fact that this thing does find the sun by itself. So that means you don't want to put any telescope on here that is not fitted with a proper solar filter. Uh, right now, uh, uh, when we're outside demonstrating this, uh, I'm using the 70 millimeter, 70 millimeter solar scope, so it's got a built-in filter. But you could put on something like a short tube 80 with a filter on the front of it. But don't put anything on here until that filter is securely on the telescope. When you hit the power button, it will automatically go find the sun. And you don't want a telescope on here that's not already ready to view the sun. Because you can start a fire in the back if you're using something without a filter and the concentrated sunlight comes through the telescope. So proper solar uh, attached uh, telescope and then turn it on and away you go. All right. Thank you very much. Clear skies.